Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to understand concept of inheritance. One of the most important topic of object oriented concept that is called inheritance. Let's understand concept of inheritance. As name suggests, inheritance, that means one class is inheriting features from other class. So let me just show it to you. Let's say I have one class called person. So this is name of my class person. In this, I have some variables or some methods. So let's say I have variables, age, name, gender, methods can be a walk, sleep. So some methods or some variables are there. Now I create one more class here. So let's say this class I'm creating for Alan. Now, Alan will also have name, gender, age, and so on. Now, inheritance says that if you have created class and you declared some variables and properties in it, and you wish to use those variables and method in other class, you can inherit those properties. So you can inherit these properties. This concept is called inheritance. Now, class which is inheriting property of another class, this class is called child class. So now child class can inherit properties of parent. So this is called child. And whose properties it is inheriting is called parent. So in this case, person going to be parent class and Alan is a child class. Child can inherit properties of parent, but parent cannot inherit properties of child. Parent cannot inherit property of child. Now this parent can also have one parent. Living creatures. And it also has some properties in it. Let's say name, age, species, walk, swim, run, crawl. For all living creatures, we do have some properties and some variables in it. Now, this class person inherited features from this class living creature. So this is parent for person. So living creature is parent for person. Person is parent for Alan. This concept is called inheritance. When any class is inheriting property from one class, it's called inheritance. Inheritance can be achieved with the keyword called extent. So child extends parent. So child will be extending the parent. Parent cannot extend child. So parent cannot inherit properties from child, whereas child can inherit property from parent as well as grandparent. That means now person's parent is this. So now Ellen can inherit properties even from Living creature. Living creature is grandparent, you can say. Guys, as we know, you know, we can inherit features from parent, right? But parents cannot inherit features from us. So same concept is there. You can inherit methods, variables, all properties, even constructors from parents. Let's implement this practically. So here I'm going to create one class. Let's say I'm naming it as parent. And here I can write down one method. Let's say I will write down public void details system dot out dot println. And 
open brackets, you can pass details from parent. You can pass any meaningful message. I just pass that. So this is a method which I've created in parent class. Now I will be creating a child class. And I'm naming it as child. Now this is an independent class. It has no relation with parent. If you want to make this class child of parent class, we need to write a keyword called extends. So here I will write extends parent class. So parent. So it will be always like this. Child extends parent. Parent cannot extend child. So now, let's say I create object of this class and I will be writing new child and I will refer it with some reference. So child obj assign this obj dot look at this. I'm getting details also here. I need not to make its object. I need not to do anything because by default, when you write extends parent, it will inherit all the properties of parent class. You need not to create object of the parent class. Even child will have that particular method. Now, let's say I want to call details. I'll write obj dot details. Let's execute it. See, details from parent. So this is how you can inherit variables and properties of parent class with the help of inheritance. One more concept we'll understand now. Concept of method overriding. We understood what is method overloading. Now we're going to understand the concept of method overriding. So guys, method overriding says that if you have method of same name in both parent and child class, then the preference will be given to child method. I'll show you this with the help of example. So let's say I'm again creating a method with the same name which I have here. So details with same parameters, same value, I'm going to create it here. So public void details. System dot out dot println details from child. This is what I want to display when this is called. So look at this. I'm going to execute this. Now the same method. I'm calling it here obj dot details. Now it is not showing me details from parent it is showing me details from child because if the method name is same in both child and parent then the preference will be given to child method and this is called method overriding we are overriding method of parent with the child method so this concept is called method overriding i'm again repeating if the same name of the method is there in both parent and child and when you wish to call this method it will call method of child class not the method of parent class so method overriding is also concept of polymorphism as polymorphism is also one of the most important concept in java what is polymorphism? Polymorphism literal meaning is one to many. That means you can have same method in child and parent. When you have same method with same number of arguments and same name, then the preference will be given to child method. And this is a concept of polymorphism and method overriding. Another important concept we're going to understand in this video is parent class reference variable 
and child class object relation. Yes, parent class reference variable and child class object creation. I'm going to explain this to you practically. I'm going to create one more method here. Public, let's say void job. I'm giving just any name here. And I'm passing it as system dot out dot println. My job is QA. Just randomly passing any message here. So now in my child class, I created two methods. One is details and second is job. Details is common method in both parent and child, whereas job is independent method. This is just in the child class. If I will be writing here obj dot, I can see details and I can see job also. So both of the methods I can refer here. Details is coming from child. Look at this. It is coming from child, not from parent now because this is overridden. And job is also coming from child. Because this is a method of just child class. Now, let's say I want to call those methods which are common in parent and child or only there in parent. So I just want to see. What are the methods which are common and what are the methods I have from parent? So guys, for this, you can refer it with parent class. So we all understand this is an object of child. And whenever we want to create it reference, we create name of the class, reference name, assign, new name of the class. But when you have this relation of parent and child, you can use parent class name that is in this case, I have parent obj assign this. Look at this. Now what will happen? obj will be referring child class object, but it will refer only those methods which are coming from parent, which are coming from parent or are common in parent and child. So let's see. If I write here obj dot, I can see details because it is common, but there is no job method here. There is no job method here. And here details is also showing you parent. Earlier it was showing you child, but it is now showing you parent. So this is how you can use parent reference variable to point child's object. So in this case, memory area of child will be created. But in this memory, only those methods and variables will be copied, which are coming from parent. So you can write this also. So obj dot and this is how you can use details. It is coming from parent class now. Now the same concept will be used. A runtime polymorphism will be there. That means first it will check whether parent has this method, okay, parent has this, then it will come to child. Child have this method details? Yes, it is. Then it will override it and it will display you this particular method. So let's execute it. And it is showing you details from child as it is overriding parent's method as the name is common. So this is how you can call only those methods which are common in parent child or just there in parent. This concept is called top casting. That means top from parent to child. You're referring child class object with parent reference. What vice versa is not possible. That means down casting is not possible in Java. So what is the meaning of down casting? If I change the positions, guys, if I write child OBJ assign new parent, that is called Downcasting that means you're using reference of child class to refer parent class object. Let's understand this with the help of example. So, here if I'm writing child obj1 assign new parent, so it's giving me error. You cannot use child class reference to point parent class object. 
Java will give you one option also. Let's say I put my cursor here. It is saying add cast to child. Let's click on it. It added this child. This is one of the ways you can do down casting. But let's see how it will work. I'm going to execute it. See, it is giving me exception. And what is the exception? First of all, it displayed me details. That's why I'm getting details from child. As we understand, guys, JVM will go to main method first. One of the object is creating and you are calling for details. So details message is displayed, detail from child. But when it went to this particular line, you're getting an error. Error is class parent cannot be cast to class child. So we cannot perform down casting. That means from child to parent. That is called down casting. From parent to child is called top casting. So this is the concept of inheritance. In this video, we understood a few things. Let's have an overview of that. First of all, inheritance. Inheritance is a relation between two class in which one of the class which will act as a child can inherit properties of the parent class. Parent class cannot inherit properties of child class. If you have same method with same name and number of parameters in both child and parent class, then the preference will be given to child class method. And this concept is called method overriding because we are overriding method of parent class in this case. And this concept is also known as polymorphism because it is one to many, one method into many classes which are related. Also, we can implement top casting. Top casting means you can use parent class reference to refer or point child class object. By this, we can access only parent methods and methods which are common in parent and child. We cannot access methods of only child class. Like in this case, job was method of only child class. So we cannot access method of only child class if reference is coming from parent. And this concept is called top casting. Down casting is not possible. Down casting is if you are using reference variable of child to refer parents object. So this is not possible. If you will try also Java will give you option to include child class in front of object of parent. But still, when you will execute it, it will throw exception. And exception is class cast exception. You cannot perform down casting. So guys, these are some of the most important concepts of object-oriented language. That's all for this video. Thanks for now.